um, I was just listening to a stream from yesterday and I got to a part in that stream where I heard the person on the stream quote, uh, this is a quote, these people need to be harassed, harassed, harassed until you get them off of the internet. And I'm just going to say this. Harassing these people is only going to make it worse on those children. Um, by no means am I, am I saying don't do what's necessary to get the kids out of that situation. But what I'm saying is you are not there to protect those children. And all the extra stress that you put on the parents and all the mean things and all the harassing that you do is going to come down on those children until those children are out of that home and away from those parents they will get the brunt of whatever excess stress you're putting on the parents by harassing them so if those children if harm comes to them um, then you can pretty much count yourself as having been responsible for helping to cause a situation where stress was heightened and those kids were harmed, whether that's physical, verbal, psychological, whatever. It's very clear those kids are in a dangerous situation and they are actively being abused psychologically, verbally, uh, neglect, Um, call for people to continue and say, quote, again, harass, harass, harass them until they are off the internet. First of all, until those children are in a safe place, be thankful that this is being caught on the internet because this may be some of the only evidence that can be put forward. If they disappear off the internet, Nobody knows where they are anymore. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody can see the state of their surroundings. All we can hope is that um, there are, you know, the authorities are being notified. And I'm not saying one way or another, uh, you know, what my role in that is. What I'm saying is that when you see this sort of thing happening, and you harass the person who is clearly unsettled, clearly not in the mind frame to be caring for children, and you put more stress on them, more emotional uh, turmoil in their life, get them upset and riled up, whatever happens to those children is on your head as much as hers. So stop harassing her. If you want to help, record it all. Don't try and get them upset. Don't go in there and say shit that makes them, uh, that triggers them and makes them go off on a rant, screaming and cussing and everything else. Clearly, these people are not stable people. I'm asking for people to please stop harassing those two. First of all, the attention is what they want. Secondly, they're clearly unstable. And when you get them upset, it makes it worse on those kids. When you make them upset, even if they start screaming and cussing at each other, not the children, the children are listening to them screaming and cussing at each other, which you yourself pointed out was abuse. Yes, it is. So why would you go in there and harass people? Hey, nocturnal. It's very sad, Anita, and I don't want to see any more of it. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to continue to watch it. You know, like I said, I've 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 asked for people to, if they see something, say something about it to the authorities. Not go into her chat and get her all riled up so that she can lose her shit and. Uh, freak out in front of her children. Those children have it hard enough. Yeah, Gavin is the star. Gavin is the only one who seems 
um, to get any real care. Um, you know, everyone's always worried about Gavin, which, hey, I'm all for Gavin's rights. I'm glad that they're worried about Gavin. But even in their worrying about Gavin, um, he's he's being abused too. Did you, I saw the state of Gavin's litter box, and that is animal abuse. Of um, the things I saw in that house aren't the kind of things that just happened in a couple days because they were in a hurry to move out. The state of that child's bedding and his bed was not something that happens just over a couple of days because uh, you only have three days to move out. So for three days, you were busy packing and not cleaning. That is not the state of a bed after three days. That is not the state of a litter box after just three days. No, this is long-term neglect and abuse. If they disappear off the internet, 